Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, my name is Casey and I love to share content about journaling, fountain pens, and stationery. Today I have a pretty big haul to unbox um, of orders that I've accumulated over the past few weeks. I've been away because I recently had my second son, so just been recovering and getting used to this new normal of having two kids in the house. Um, but a bunch of these were lots of exciting new releases, so let's get into it. So the first order here was from Yoseka Stationery, and I ordered a bunch of things from Yoseka mainly because this was around the time that Traveler's Company came out with the pre-release of their Tokyo collection. I was only able to snag one item off my list from the Tokyo collection. The rest sold out way too quickly. So that's what's in this order. So I've really been wanting to try inks from Lennon Toolbar and this one is a sample that Yoseka had um, of the Sun Moon Lake Ruby Tea ink. Um, so I'm really excited to try this one out, this color. I also picked up the Yoseka um, ink stamp. This one was created by their employee and artist, Authen. It's so cute and I had been thinking about it for a while so um, made the jump and I'm excited to start using this. Here is the Traveler's Company Tokyo pre-release item that I managed to snag. The only item I managed to get from the pre-release, which was the uh, brass pencil, which I love the colors and the design. So I'm happy I snagged it, but I was a little disappointed because this was the only thing left in my cart from the pre-release. So this order was from Atlas Stationers. I mainly placed this order because Twisby had their pre-release uh, for the new Eco in Cafe. So um, I fell in love with this color and really wanted to get it. I really love this color. It's definitely evoking coffee and latte for me. It's pretty unique. Um, I think this is about my fourth Twisby Eco that I have in my collection. I just find that they are really affordable and the quality is great for the price. They're really good writers and I've never had a problem with the Twisby Eco nibs or quality of the pen. I know some people have uh, reported that, you know, the the pen barrel has cracked, but I've not experienced anything like that. And this is a rose gold nib and a rose gold clip and um, cap detailings. I did recently purchase the Creme Eco and I think I was a little hesitant because this one is another neutral that's pretty similar to the creme one, um, but I will compare that side to side so you can see the color difference. So here are the two pens compared. This is the Twisby Creme Rose Gold, and you can tell that it is definitely a lot whiter than the Cafe color, which is more of a brown beige color. And I think that actually both of them are so stunning and different in their own ways. 
Um, they're really beautiful and actually complement each other quite well. So I'm really excited to have both of these in my collection. And I didn't think that I would love um, rose gold nibs so much. This one I have in the fine nib and it writes absolutely well. I At first I was very unsure about rose gold nibs because I had a very bad experience in the past with a twisby rose gold nib but realized it was due to the ink making it a little bit more scratchy than normal and this nib i purchased in the medium size because i've never had a twisby eco medium so wanted to try it out and it turns out it's a great size, especially if you like your nibs a little bit juicy, but also on the fine side. So I'm really impressed with both of these rose gold nibs and very happy with both of them. Then I picked up these Wearing All Leaf Color Swatch Cards. So they come in a pack of 50 and these are really cool because they have this special design um, they come in different designs, but this one is the leaf, um, and you just use the ink to color onto the design, and it has a special, uh, like, texture so that it only goes on the leaf pattern, and so you can use these for ink swatching. I also have this in the ginkgo leaf, um, pattern, and I really love them, so I figured I would pick up the... This is called the Ash Leaf design. And then Atlas Stationers recently added a bunch of other ink brands to their site. And so one of those that I was very curious to try is Vinta Inks, which is um, actually a Filipino uh, ink brand. And not many US stockists um, have them. Yet, I think there are a few other US retailers that have them, but I've been really curious about this ink company and I've heard good things. So I picked up two bottles. So the first color that I picked up is this one called Pamana, which is like a sepia brown color. And then I also picked up this Makopa one, which is supposed to be like a fuchsia pinkish apple color. I think the packaging from the boxes down to the bottles are just really aesthetically pleasing and they're unique. The inside, I took a peek at the bottles. I appreciate the extra packaging, but this is like like plastic wrapped as well so it doesn't spill, which is great. I love the bottle design too.
placed an order with Everyday Explorers uh, because they were having a free shipping promotion um, on behalf of Christine, the founder's birthday. So I figured I would pick up some stamps that I've had my eye on for a while. I've slowly been collecting more and more clear stamps, especially from Everyday Explorers, just because I love the designs and the um, style of the stamps and the convenience behind clear stamps rather than accumulating so many of the more traditional like wooden stamps. They take up a lot of space and these are so easy and lovely to use as well. She has these new um, prompt washi tapes. I picked up the snapshots one, which has to do mainly with like pictures and memories. So I figured that would be a great thing for my memory keeping journal. I picked up the 29 prompts stamps, which just has some really great little prompts um, for journaling and for memory keeping. And then I also picked up this, this I think is a newer pack. Um, it's called Save the Date and it has numbers and months and years and days of the week, as well as these really nice um, kind of frame stamp designs. So I figured that would be really nice for memory keeping and journaling to have dates um, in a more compact stamp form. Okay, and here is the last order that I have, which was from Jet Pens, and I placed this on the day of the global release of the Traveler's Company um, Tokyo collection, and thankfully I was like a hawk on <laughs> my phone, and I was able to snag the other two items that I wanted from the Tokyo collection, which was the brass charm set and the stickers. Everything else sold out within minutes after I placed these in my cart and pressed order. So I'm really thankful that I was able to get these. I know that if you missed out on this collection, they are restocking in the fall. I want to say around September. So don't be dismayed if you didn't get it this time around. Um, they are restocking. So I'm sure you've seen these before, but these are the brass charms from the Tokyo collection. I had to have this because I just have so many fond memories of eating taiyaki um, in Tokyo and I just love the fish design and the little sakura charm that it comes with as well. So I just had to pick up these charms because I just have so many fond memories of Taiyaki in Tokyo um, and I just love the way it looks as a charm. It's super cute and I really like the mini Sakura charm as well. These are going to look so cute on my traveler's notebook covers. Other item I picked up from the collection were the Tokyo stickers and these are super cute you get 10 stickers and they're all beautifully illustrated with gold foil and just have different highlights of Tokyo and your quintessential Japanese um, and Tokyo kind of um, icons. So I love these and I wish I had picked up another pack um, but like I said they sold out so quickly. Um, I may try to get another pack during the restock in the fall um, but these are going to be so hard not to actually stick to things. I might just hoard them or I'll probably use like tape on the back and not actually stick them. 
picked up these flake stickers from Paper Plus and uh, Eric Small Things, which I have a bunch of these already, but I don't have this one, which is the um, Nice Day collection. I picked up this special um, Studio Ghibli Uniball 1F gel pen. I just love the design of this. It has the soot sprites. Um, if you're familiar with Studio Ghibli, um, the in the film, this I believe is in Totoro and Spirited Away. I just, I love this design of the pen, so I knew I had to have it as a Ghibli fan. That's all for this video. Thanks again for watching. Let me know down below, did you pick up any of these special or limited edition items or just let me know your thoughts on them. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.